Hello, hello. Let's see. How are we all today? I am sleepy as per usual. It took me a while to find all the things that I needed today. And then it's like, well, great. I buried my phone and my stuff and I have no idea where it is now. <laughs> so much cat hair. So, I did find that. We're all okay. <clears throat> eh, need some water. Okie dokie. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hmm, perhaps I should use Christmas music. Holiday music. Since I'm trying to get into the holiday festive season. Uh, da -da. Let's take just a quick minute. Look for Paris Heller. Boop, 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 boop. See discography. <laughs> I know you have some holiday stuff. I just need to find it. Unless I'm just crazy. Lifestyle dance sus. Sunset. Midnight logic assassin. Mumble 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 mumble. Evergreen. That's the one. Alright. We'll do this and then we'll uh We'll see about looking for more holiday music or just going back to game stuff. Hi Pokey. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Mm. Okay. I was going to do a thing on stream for my mom, which is to write out some stuff on canvas, or this is actually not canvas, it's just like a, a light cotton, uh, for several of her quilts so she could sew those on, but they have locations and things, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'll have to do that after stream. But yeah, this was my testing for it to see which of my inks would work best. I decided on Jackson's. And I went and I made sure I found it. Jackson's Indian ink. Any Indian ink would probably be suitable. But, uh, yeah. Throw that out the window now. <laughs> You're looking for a good thing for your grandma. Ooh. Care to elaborate? No is okay, of course. Let's get my candle set up here. Eh. I think it smells nice. My partner thought it smelled like generic red candle. So, that I think it smells pepperminty. Oh, my desk is a mess. Oh, hey, Mats. I did forget. Thank you. A necklace or something with a butterfly. Ooh. Let me ping the Discord. Thank you so much. I'm clearly very out of it. Copy. 
east. Winter holiday. Okay. Copy text. Post to a couple other boards. Paste. Get rid of, rid of that everyone. So I don't bother people on this one so much. And there. Okay. Thank you so much. <coughs> pardon pardon me. Ooh. I still haven't set up the the uh command commands yet. I'm sorry. Uh okay. See Pokey's good. I was thinking about maybe getting her a cat. Maybe next year I don't want her to be lonely. Not this year though. Hmm? It's worth a thought. Best not to uh, rush it, yeah. So, get some time to think about it. <coughs> Oof. Water time. Maybe I'll do the zoom in already. Show off a little less of my messy desk. Okay. It's maybe a little bright, but I, like a little harsh. But I don't know if I can do much about that right now. Oh, hey, Panda. How are you doing? That. That's a little better. <clears throat> My goodness. Are you in state, Panda? Done with finals for the penultimate time. Nice. Just once more. That's what penultimate means. Okay. <laughs> move stuff out of frame, move stuff back into frame. Okay, let me get rid of some of this stuff that I decided I can't do anymore. You are in state. Nice. We have another cousin uh, up at Grandma's right now. And I did not get the chance to see him on the way up. I'm hoping maybe I can see him on the way back down. We shall see. How's the day for our lovely person streamer here going? We should road trip, <laughs> maybe. I don't know if I have time. I'm trying to scroll up and then I can't. My cat's groomer is a professional judge for dog show. Interesting. His Afghan hounds, ooh. Okay, what was I doing? Um. So I'm going to do some more ornaments today, like this one. I finished this one up recently. It was going to be part of my um, fall ornaments, and maybe it will be next year, but it's kind of late and it's kind of wintry. So here it is, a winter stocking, but not a stocking for hanging up next to the fire. I'm going to make another one of those and that'll be the traditional Santa kind. So finished that recently. Yeah, there's a lot of things. I'm very tired still. Um, yeah, so the plan is to make more of these today. I want to show off some things that I made before in my lifetime, I guess, since they're out for the holidays. Uh, I'm not positive I made this one because I would have been six at the time. But uh, and it looks a little too good for me being six. But I've definitely done some of these when I was younger. Um, it's counted cross stitch. So, do do do. 
In fact, I know I wouldn't have done this at six. I definitely did this one, though, later. Um, made this in sixth grade. I liked using the, the scroll saw. It was fun. And I made this one, which at the time was part of a uh, a kit. So this is this one was not out of my head. But it's cute. I've had thoughts about getting some uh, beads and or sequins. But ooh, this could use a little fix. But yeah. So it's not like my sewing stuff has come out of nowhere. Thank you. Tell you that in some cultures, black cats mean good luck, and white cats is the one that's the superstitious one. You might have. I've definitely heard that before. In my mind, white, red are very Xmasy. Yeah. Hi, Sake, Master Crafter. I've been doing stuff a long time, and I'm not particularly great at any of it. So, here we are. Uh, ba -ba -da. I have some stuff that I had cut out previous years to do ornaments with, so I might make use of some of these. But I also have a bunch of stuff drawn up as well. The friends are the mistakes found along the way. <laughs> um, yes, all cats are cute. I agree, even, fair, even hairless ones. Just little gremlin beans. <laughs> I think hairless cats are very cute. I would never have one while I lived here though, because it is much too cold. Okay, where's my... There we go. So, lots of ideas. Uh, Spike helped me come up with some of these. And... <laughs> so, the one idea I have in mind... It's not on here, actually. I wanted to talk about. Um, I could probably use this one pretty easily, since pandas here, uh, they can they can step in with some knowledge. So one thing that I think about with the holidays, that's a cultural thing for me and panda, is Lefsa. Is that what we're calling all the forgotten craft projects? <laughs> Here in the Netherlands, we are at freezing temperatures. Stay warm. Yeah, we are also at freezing temperatures. Lefza, yeah. So last Saturday, um, I went to Spike's cabin and his family, with me helping, made 25 pounds of potatoes into Lefza. So I got some here. Um, it's almost as good as our grandma's panda. Not quite, but... It's pretty good. Um, so if you don't know, this is a Norwegian thing. It's, um, I'm pretty sure it's also Swedish and perhaps Finnish. I'm not sure. Come on over. <laughs> Precisely negative one to one degrees Celsius. Let's see. Time to bring out big coats and nice pants. Only about to get colder later. Yep. <laughs> kind of like pancakes kind of like crepes so they're made with mostly potatoes um, and also flour heavy cream butter and uh salt and I, I think i said flour already that's pretty much it pancake crepe tortilla circles yeah so you make them in a big circle fry them up on the griddle or you lightly grill them up on the griddle. I don't know. But yeah, they're really good. My favorites are with cinnamon and sugar and butter. Or, uh, if you can get it, lingonberries. And cat hair, apparently. Get out of here. So, yummy goodness. It takes a lot of work, though. So it's not something that at least we do more than like a couple times a year at most. Unfortunately, Panda and my grandma's uh, 
quite up there in years now and needs a uh, would need a lot of help that's not necessarily available at the moment winter is both the netherlands prime and the netherlands most dangerous time both for the same reason and it's always the reason water People say that about here too because people get so many winter water incidents. Yes. Positive side since we have so many rivers and lakes, most students and children don't ride their bike to school. So no, they simply ice skate to school, which is such a fun thing to do. <laughs> and Pokey lives in New England. Yeah, so Pokey gets it quite cold as well. Uh, yeah. So my thoughts with the Lefsa were... Let's do this to sew on some of the uh, um, burning is not the right way to put it, but the brown spots from the grill. Do some butter, maybe. And uh, I actually want to get little beads to do cinnamon and sugar. So I might decide just to do that one later, actually, since I don't have beads for it. But I wanted to bring it up because it's a, a holiday thing. For me and i'm excited to eat some more of it and uh and yeah it's fun i'm glad i was able to make choke cherry syrup when i lived there i'm glad i got such a great opportunity yeah um is it like a churro uh, the downside remember that it always rains here since it's freezing now you gotta do something a little bit helmet if you want to go outside because ice is gonna be falling on the sky more and more in the following months mm. um I wouldn't say it's like a it's mm, it's like a churro in the sense that it's got like cinnamon and sugar and it's kind of doughy depending on how you make it but it's not uh it's not fried really it's just um cooked on a hot griddle without any uh without any oil or anything yeah we've had we've had snow days and more often we've not more often I think more often as I got older, we had uh, it's too cold days. Tortilla is closer, yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's a thing. I wanted to share that. A little bit of culture that I know. The, the very littlest bit. Uh, but yeah, it's fun. And Spike's family hasn't been doing it for that many years. So, uh, so they ask me questions and stuff, which is kind of fun. When I first heard there were two gold days, I was thinking, like, no way. And then I moved here, lol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We have below zero for several months out of the year. Um, the two, the two cold days are when it's like, negative 30 with with a wind chill of negative 50 that's fahrenheit so <laughs> and it's the wind chill that will really get get people to stay inside uh it has been cold enough that it if you actually in the last couple of years if you uh are outside you have to keep blinking and close your eyes thank you thank you panda <laughs> um you have to close your eyes a bunch because your eyeballs will freeze we've had it that cold pretty recently Kuya, you're in front of the screen i can't read now such a cutie patootie though Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So we get it pretty bad. Uh, and uh, got your cat a cat found. Nice. Those are great. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cold starts at zero Fahrenheit. Negative. Uh, not negative. 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 And zero is 32 degrees, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Oh, a necklace for your cat. 
Panda is being very helpful right now. Thank you. My brain is all over the place. Watch your tail, Kuya. There's a candle here. What the... This basket? Hmm? This pretty dirty basket now? Yes. Watch your tail, honey. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Kuya. Bok, bok. And she left. As is the way of Kuya. Okay, maybe I will start with a gingerbread person. Let's see if I've got a decent gingerbread color. Oh yeah. This is great. Kuya is adorable. I can't spell. Actually, that's perfect. Uh, Kiri, we should meet up soon, and you should prepare a safe, boiled, clean container so I can share some honey use and mix with you. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Plus, I have at least three of your containers to give you. I was thinking about the logistics of, uh, yeah, well, you're, you got, I got the pan that we didn't know that we had that was yours. We've got the pie, uh, glass tin is not the right word, but you know what I mean? And the cake box, because you've been, <laughs> you've been making such wonderful food for us. Okay. Do I want to do? Do I want? Well, that's not amazing. Yes. Thank you, Sake. Um, I've been thinking about the logistics of doing Pardon me, doing uh, Lefsa with you, Sake, with a group of people, if we ever got around to if all meeting up for it. And uh, I'm not sure if our house is like the best place for it. I might ask my dad if we could do it there. Uh, and I'm not sure how much we'd want to make. But yeah, it's like an all-day endeavor, regardless of how much you have, because you have to... You have to cook potatoes, you have to rice them, you have to cool them, you have to mix up the stuff together and form balls, and then you have to cool them some more, and then you have to roll them out and fry them on the griddle. So it takes it takes a while. And I might uh I might ask to borrow some griddles. Actually I don't own a griddle, I only own a ricer right now. So I have to borrow some griddles. But yeah, um, we don't have any counter space, and some of the stuff is really much better to have at an appropriate height, rather than leaning over all the time. So I don't know. Uh, we shall see. But yeah, I would like I would like to do that, and then we can all have lefsa, and you can make it up however you want, with no cinnamon. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I bet I have some cookie cutters. Oh, no. Shoot. A little guy. Do I take two minutes and go downstairs and get the cookie cutters, or do I not? <laughs> take two minutes? Okay. I'll be right back. Enjoy looking at this beautiful lefsa, and if the cats come to eat it, holler at me. Ooh, lefsa's safe. <laughs> Toby is, uh, in the little room at the window. Some real old ones here. This one, this looks perfect. No kitty shenanigans. Also have bears, apparently. Oh, got one with a dress. Gotta have gendered people. How dorky the old cutter, yeah. Got a little itty bitty kitty one. Enormous bear. The bear with odd proportions. <laughs> and another person. Butterfly. Oh, an itty bitty little bear. Cute. Love the bear. <laughs> uh, I got some other old ones here. Tree. Star. Bell. Got a repeat of the star and the bell, and then this one, which. Which is always confusing when it ever comes out in a cookie. Sorry's crinkled edges. Yes. Yeah. So this is Santa. The feet, legs, body, head, hat, sack. Uh I think I don't have the reindeer one, but there's a reindeer one in this like same vein that looks weird as well. Yeah. So these are good. I'm definitely going to use that. And I might do one with the star as well. Tree? I want to do a tree, but I'm not sure if I want it to look like this. Bill is also probably good. Hmm. I have these wonderful chalk things now, except they won't work very well in this. A little man with his little tree. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about this pen? Is the music a little too quiet? Is it just me? I think it's too quiet. I 
Okay, well, let me know if it's too loud. I think I will alter them just a little bit after I get them cut out. Just get out of here. Having some trouble here. Stuff's a little thick. So, having a little bit more trouble cutting it out. Get out of here. So, Sake might have heard of this, but um, Spike and my water troubles with the house continue. Um, part of my being tired and frustrated last week was uh, because our water is now tasting very weird in the house. Um, where we live, it's safe to drink the tap water. Um, and so I do that a lot. Strange, yeah. Um, so I called the city and had somebody come out to look. And in addition to the sewer backing up, we now have this thing going on, which is entirely unrelated because it's coming from upstream, if you will. And so I had the, had the person over and I had to deal with them myself, which is always terrifying because I don't know the ins and outs of plumbing things. And uh, I never ask the questions that Spike has. Um, but yeah, so they suggested things like um, draining our hot water heater because the buildup and the, you know, sediment will build up in it and uh, you want to drain that out. But the problem is that could be a, s a small part of it, but the cold water also tastes funny. So it, that shouldn't be all of it. You know, the, the cold water doesn't go through the hot water heater. It doesn't need to be heat up, heated up. Uh, and then there's another thing like clean the filters, not filters, aerators in the faucets, but you'd think that would only be happening with one faucet and not every faucet. So TLDR, we're pretty sure the problem 
hasn't actually been addressed properly. And I'll probably have to call the city again soon. The person said it was safe to drink. Um, they didn't, like, run any tests or anything. But I have some bottled water just because I won't be drinking water that tastes bad. <laughs> it tastes like uh, if you left your water bottle too long and you think that some, like, bacteria is growing in there or something. That's what it tastes like. Depending on the buildup, you can taste bad water after the mix in the tap, but I hope it gets resolved. Yeah. So. I mean, we still have stuff to deal with with the sewer backing up that just uh, has a temporary fix until Spike's dad has time to help, which will be after the holidays. And then there's the matter of, well, Roots are still going to be growing, so they'll pro this will probably happen again. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You have an on-tap filter at your home. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I've never felt the need for one on in the, like, two places that I've lived, you know? <laughs> uh, and I'd like not, not to have to have one. I don't want the cats to have bad tasting water too if they don't if they don't like it then they won't drink it and then and then what uh so yeah i think i'm actually a little dehydrated because of this like i'm just not drinking nearly as much water as i was uh so i got my bottle of water right here drinking it If it comes down to it, I will buy, like, an on-tap filter or something. But, but yeah, more house things. Owning a house is great. Dealing with how th house things is not. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Things could be worse, though. You know, we can still use the water. We can still cook with it and everything. The person from the city was very nice, and I feel like I asked appropriate questions and things, but I just left. left. He left with me a little dissatisfied. And, you know... The end. I'm gonna have some of this left so now. Um, 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 um. Okay, where did I put my... There it is. Wow, I really didn't do much in the way of design for this guy, huh? Mm-hmm. The left side is a very nice compensation. <laughs> Uh-oh, now I gotta sneeze. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do with some scraps. Okay, 
I'm going to try to make fewer two-sided ornaments this time because those really slowed me down <laughs> in the fall ones. Let's see, if my water ever broke, I'd just go to a river and make clean water. My dad taught me how to a long time ago. Ooh, cool. How do you do it? Like just with um, the, the only way I'm thinking of immediately is to boil water. Make some gumdrop buttons here. Not the gumdrop buttons. Also, <laughs> if your water ever broke, people thought of you as the female variety they would tease you endlessly about that oh blah blah blah, blah. the end uh. yeah that's the appropriate reaction sake You don't have to call me out on jokes I didn't make. Uh, basically, you grab a bucket, get water, use something called a zeef to get dirty stuff out. Sort of boil it, let it cool, and drink. Okay. So, zeef would be like a kind of filter, I presume, or a strainer. Yeah, okay. Okay, green on top. Oh no, now I feel like I gotta make the stinky cheese man. It's not holiday at all though. Did he, anybody know who the stinky cheese man is? Am I the only one here who, know, who remembers this? Who has uh, experienced the stinky cheese man? More like Zaff in English. The E is very different in Dutch. Okay. There's a moral to every story. What's the moral of the stinky cheese man story, hmm? book yes the book um. <laughs> oops that's it the stinky cheese man and other fairly stupid tales still have this maybe I don't remember something about not eating stinky cheese I presume well nobody wanted to eat him because he was so stinky remember the art but I don't remember the story yes it's it's the same author that's in here as well um let's see oh, this is a good book <laughs> got uh chicken licking ducky lucky the ugly um, the ugly duckling turned out to be a really ugly duck. I don't know. It's similar to the gingerbread man, but like instead of getting eaten, he 
ends up in the water and falling apart or something. It's just like kind of a subversion to the to the normal fairy tales. Very wordy though. Like you have to be a little bit older to to read it. I wouldn't be surprised if some people thought that the art was kind of terrifying. But it's nothing compared to the um scary stories to tell in the dark. Yeah, they're they're all weird. I can't remember them very well right now. Oh, I think the pigs were the bad guys in that one. Or, or something. You know, before I came here, I was just streaming. Surprise timings matched up to me exactly beating a boss and you starting a stream. Huh. Good job, universe. I'm chilly. I need a kitty cat on my lap. Oh, kitties! Oh, Kuya! Oh, I put a little bed underneath my desk and she's sleeping in that. What a cutie. She's keeping her eyes on me. Now that I think about it, what are your thoughts on Snaily the Marshmallow? I said he was very cute. Or super cute, I think. Those are my thoughts. Fluffy and squishy. It's very cute. Oh, I dropped it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I did. Oh, dang it, I forgot one thing. I'll be back in just a second. Or six. Oof. Well, it's no wonder I forgot it. It was hidden underneath the couch downstairs. My ribbon. Well, hello, Aruka the goat. Hello. Oh, this has got kitty chew chewing marks on it. Hmm. See, you came in from Toki before, right? Toki Doki, not Pokey on our stream right now. Yes, okay, good. Whew, memory don't fail me now. I think the playlist ended. Oh, 
I don't know. I think it's good to remember at least one thing about each person. <laughs> it's not reasonable to remember all of the things about everybody, but... Something is good, you know? Okay, what else do I add to this little guy? Just a little guy. Oh, oh I'm blushing here. I try my best. I'm just trying to make a little guy. Um. <laughs> okay, and here's where my brain is like, no new ideas for you. How do people gin decorate their gingerbread people? Uh, men cookies oh bow ties squiggles oh a little scarf that's cute Okay. Okay, it looks it looks like it's not just me. Lots of people don't have that much ideas for their gingerbread people. <laughs> According to this very cursory look on Google. Sleepy. Scarves. Oh, sake is helping me out here. Scarves, jumpers, overalls, icing on the top for hair or boots or hands. Little swirly designs. A bit complex for the small shape, which is very cute. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of the hair. Give them like a little um, whipped cream hair look, maybe. start there oh hey pokey welcome back Or you could do some like embroidery adjacent design with thread and so little zigzags or such for designs. Yeah, I was thinking that earlier and then I kind of forgot all about it. Imagine that. <laughs> Me forgetting? Got you. Yeah, sake's. Sake is my. I don't know. Saki carries all my hopes and desires and dreams and ideas and <laughs> meals. So tasty. Oh, that's pretty cute. Gives them a whole new personality. <laughs> Sorry. Thoughts are hard. Brother Blanket is uh, on the way, I'm assuming. Nice. <laughs> Okay. Um, mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, I feel like I hear somebody chatting. I'm not sure whether it's in the song or not. Oh no, my plant is melting! Oh no! Crisis! I've not been a very good, uh, attendant of this candle. Oh dear. Plant, no! It's a fake plant, so it's not, you know, harming it at all. It's just like, oh, whoops. Uh, da -da. Brothers at Undertale. Rip fake plant, yeah. Okay, well now I gotta look up Undertale. Undertale. Brothers. Link it. Oh. Okay, that took me way too long to figure out. It's Sans and, uh... And, um... Papyrus, probably? Okay, well. I'm not surprised that nothing comes up. Probably. You got it for your... You got him an Undertale blanket for your brother. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I am all over the place today. Okay, where's my pen? Did my pen go to Pen Island? <laughs> okay, we'll just do some little zigzaggies. There. Chat is so active today, Whisper. Just can't keep up. It's the entire cast. Okay, cool. That's a big cast. I'm gonna eat a little bit more lefsa. Mm. So good. It's my favorite. I gotta get some more cream colored thread. Guess we're just gonna do pure white since the stuff here is pure white. Yeah. Man, I need to always have Sake on call for when I'm trying to design things. Okay, I will. I don't know if my camera's having trouble focusing or if I like smudged it or what. Or if the lighting is just whack. Apologies. At least the stuff that I'm actually working on seems to be pretty well in focus. I like the idea of a scarf, but then I want it to be in either of these colors and then the balance would be off
Well, red's the one I have the most of, so I guess we'll start there. I guess blue is. It does look good. All right. <laughs> oh. For whatever reason I read, the music man starts playing, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Why the music man? <laughs> Why right now? <laughs> uh, epic music starts playing. Whisperwoods of the main character. Kokiri is Whisper, trans artist. Anime Poke fan, Pokemon fan 23 is Pokey. The lots of art and lots of things. Sake River is Sake. Supportive friend, Spike, 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 as Spike. Lover and supporter, Mats the Cat says, Mats. Always the re. And together they form the art show. Thanks for watching. Probably took me longer to read than for you to come up with. Oh, I'm struggling. Oh, now I want like a little sailor one. Beckon will go down in history as the bad guy, comedic guy duo. I said always there, not always tree. Always there. The spaces made it uh, made it difficult, okay? Cut me some slack, Jack. I don't know. I like to think of you as always a tree. That's a joke. Or I'm kidding, rather, I guess. Cuts your slack. Good. Found May 2. I put my art in there and it makes it anime. Oh. Is that like a um art bot duder dad? It's so funny. I like Finny. It's so Finny. Might need to make these buttons a little smaller with the scarf. It's an app on your phone. It's AI. Okay, yeah. That's the kind of thing I wanted to say. But my brain no good today. Okay. Oh, now I have to grab blue thread as well. No. I have an idea. Okay, it's called Meitu. Okay. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Thank you for the idea on the color. <laughs> Guys, I just want to watch Muppets Christmas Carol and nap forever and eat lefsa is that too much to ask it's 
Cat is squeaking like a mouse. Oh, speaking of squeaking, my mom got a kitten. And she's very small. I think she might be undersized. From, like, worms and stuff. Yeah. Yep. If you nap forever, how will you eat the cake I'm gonna make for your birthday? <gasps> cake! Uh, kitten was a farm, farm kitty. Um... And she has uh, kind of like a tuxedo marking, but with some orange, like like Sequoia does. Not nearly as much orange as Sequoia, though. <gasps> no! How can I eat if I sleep forever? Ah. She's very cute and very small. Um, the vets are pretty busy, so she's not getting in for a little bit, but she is going to see my friend, the vet, so that, that'll be something. Uh, and I checked in. The cat seems to be, seems to be good, eating fine and everything, using the litter, doing all the right things. So... Should be okay. I will one day get another kitten for the Duchess. Matt's looking at Twitch recap, realizing I've watched 306 days and hours of time on Twitch. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, these extra pieces out of here for now. Yeah. Allergies do suck. Oof. I would be the person who gets at least three cats. I mean, at least two is generally pretty good. So they have companionship. Especially if they're kittens. Um, the best way for kittens to learn not to bite people and hands and things is to have another kitten there to let them know what it feels like. You know? And they can tire the, each other out. One old cat. Old cats are the best. They're so chill and relaxed and they like to be coddled and snuggled and warm and... They're so good. Because they need love, I just can't get random cats. Which sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Little blobby has been bothering me. I will not forget waking up with Jack Jack laying in bed with me out of nowhere, and I was when I was sitting. I woke up and then giving him pets. Yeah, Jack Jack was the best. Oh, I miss him so much. Jack Jack was the cat I had before. Um, well, I got Sukuya to be his companion, actually. And he died at 14. So... Congestive heart failure, but he was the biggest, best sweetheart I ever met. 
So close to getting Penelope when I went to the shelter. Cat was so cute and then I puffed up. Yeah. I know. I fall in love with the shelter all the time. <laughs> Luckily they tend to get adopted pretty fast, so I don't I don't have to uh fall hard for very long. Lucky man not to have a single allergy that you know of. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, that is lucky. I have the general like hay fever, seasonal allergy stuff to pollen and everything. Um, and I also am allergic to something in sunscreen. I found ones at work, so that's good, but No food allergies, which is nice. Or sake is allergic to cinnamon. Oh, so many holiday goodies. Cat had problems, but she was just so cute and sweet. What kind of problems? Like health problems? Attitude problems. Overweight. Oh. Yeah, that's something that can be handled much more easily at a home than in a shelter, for sure. Oh, that's... I mean, yes, the weight can come with... Uh, other problems along the way, but that's a pretty easy thing to, to live with. Mm -hmm. Done more streams than people have watched me in hours. Okay, my, my brain isn't mathing very well right now. Uh, technically I have asthma, but it's such a not problem most of the time. In addition, I'm allergic to cat stander, somewhat mild. Cinnamon, and I had a huge problem with chocolate during the childhood. Cinnamon is getting less so I can still have kitties in spite of the allergy. Three hours every time on average. Twitch can be lonely, oh. Yeah, it can be. Uh, poop problems, but once you get help with the weight, you would get, would get her butt in the kitty litter. Hope she found a good home. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, thought mosquitoes, but actually I think it's just a dermatographic, dermatographia problem. Uh, oh no. I would watch you stream sake. Lots of people would. You're the best. I love to hear you talk, sake. And you can feel confident in that from when you worked with me. See, is boy cats and girl cats different? Uh, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> different meows? No, I don't think so. No. Kisses. This is just funny. Most popular categories. Devil daggers, doki doki. Devil daggers again in endoparasitic. <laughs> I agree with the kitties. In my experience, male cats tend to be more um, attention seeking, and female cats tend to be more independent. Uh, there are some things like um, coloring based on chromosomes. So, tortitude is a thing. Like, 
tortoise shell attitude, tortitude. Um, where it's not uncommon for tortoise shells to be pretty sassy. Um, and since they are almost entirely all female, that falls into that category. The one shared orange brain cell for orange tabbies is a, a thing. They tend to be kind of, or they seem to be kind of much more relaxed about everything. Um, and they are like 80% male. Let's see. Female cat, cat attached to my hip. Yeah, it. I mean, it depends entirely on the cat, of course. Ooh. Um, and then specific breeds are known to be more relaxed or, or energetic or, you know. Ow! There you go, I got my, uh, poked myself with a needle in. Now I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the stream, right? Right? Ken thinks her name is Baby. <laughs> well, if you call her Baby all the time, that'll happen. Our cat Kuya probably thinks her name is Kuya Pants. Because that's what Spike calls her all the time. Kuya Pants. <laughs> Our cats come to whistles since uh, I give them treats after whistling for them. Which I guess is kind of an unusual thing. Dog named Dog. Hey, if it works, it works. I respond to big cat, little cat, chigger, chiggy, nyar, baby, and cat. <laughs> so cute. Um... Socket brought up Jack Jack earlier. Officially, his name was actually Quint, but uh, Jack Jack is what stuck, so he didn't respond to Quint ever, just Jack Jack. It was always weird hearing the vets call him Quint. I'm like, oh, that's that's unusual. Kind of like when people call um, me by my full name, Catherine. Like, oh, I'm not used to hearing that. That sounds weird. <laughs> what do we have planned for tomorrow? I am undecided whether I want to continue strange horticulture or if I want to do a um, search and find holiday game. Uh, there's a bunch of them that I have downloaded oh and I, I can only imagine when nyar went to the vet uh nyar's full name is nyarlathotep nyarlathotep i can't even say it <laughs> you can say more sake if there's much more to the story then oh boy that's a name Our vets always struggle with Sequoia, how to pronounce it. And I'll say it, and they'll be like, oh, like Sequoia? Like the tree? I'm like, no. But, okay. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Just say baby more. Yeah. If 
apparently he's just Nyar at the one we go to regularly because they shortened it down. But when Nyar, when he took Nyar in, he just hears from the back they're taking him in. Three vet ladies going Nyar 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 Nyar. Oh, <laughs> it's very sweet. <laughs> He was small, but now she's a big baby. Eight pounds. I like the name my parents gave me. I actually like my middle name better. But, well, I like the nickname for my middle name better. Because it's gender neutral. And, uh, whatever. But I know several people who have that name, so... A little strange, but I sure like it. That's good. Vet ladies very much like him and call him very handsome and such when he goes in, lol. He's scared, but such a sweetie. Aww. I mean, I, I don't know why you... I mean, it's. I'd say it's fairly normal to assume that your name would be Matt. But, uh... Um... I'd say people shouldn't be that surprised to hear that it's not, also. Let's see, Duchess. Original name was Feta. Huh. Eh. It can work. Um, I know foster people have... Okay, in my limited experience, people who foster cats tend to have very unusual names for them because they can go through so many. And they like to have you know, different names for every cat. And um, if there's more than one kitten in a litter, they'll often have themed names that match each other. Um, I do have it in plain sight after all. I don't want an online nickname just because I want to be called my name. Oh. If the cat was orange, but feta cheese isn't orange. It's it's like a white, creamy color. I think. At least the cheese I've had is that color. Okay. Green on top? Or red on top? Green. I know, I know the cat isn't orange, but feta cheese also isn't orange. That's how Chigger got his name. Chigger, Mite, Vit Vitus? Bug, Tick, etc. I... okay. That's fair. My, my point was only about you saying that if she was orange. I'm, I'm not saying that it was an appropriate name. Um... <laughs> also, her brother was called Boy. Huh. Um. I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say something, but I lost it. Oh well. Kui had a, a very neat name when she was born. Um, she was born in foster, like the people that rescued her mom when she was pregnant uh, brought them in and then actually later adopted the mom. Uh, but she was, Sukuya was the only one of the litter to make it because the mom was hit by a car. And that's when the people, like, brought her in. Uh, but her name was Neela. Because she was born on St. Patrick's Day. So she got an Irish name that meant, like, victory or something like that. Um, which is very cool. And I like the idea of it, and I like it. Problem is, 
I would not be able to hear it without thinking of Leela from uh, Futurama. So he gave her a different name. Made sure to stick with the same ending sound though, because that's a thing, I guess. If you want to change your, your pet's name, it tends to be easier. If it's, uh, if the end, or if the sound at the end is the same, like, so Nila, Sakuya, the all sound. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, what I was going to say is that a lot of people name Orange Cats Garfield, of course. I remember now. Uh, da -da -da. Sympathy for the person born with the official name John Doe. Yeah. Uh, got my cat kind of sketchily. Thought it was a reputable breeder. Turned out it was a 13-year-old and her mom. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad that your cat turned out okay and that uh, the allergy situation is truly okay for you in that situation. But yeah. And I mean, you would have gotten from a uh, from a shelter if you could have. I know from what you've said before. Cat head fleece. Yep. Oh. Poor baby. Yeah. Oh, another thing that's great about our house or whatever is that our computer in the living room broke. So that's no fun. I can't watch stuff out there and work on things anymore. Uh, let's see. Me and my grandfather went to, to New York the state over. Wow. A little closer together. Over there, though, than over here, I guess. I mean, like, I'm in the city, so I'm right next to Wisconsin. But he had to get the baby. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, computer in the living room broke. Sake knows a bit about this. Because Sake and Spike talk. Because they're friends. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Yeah, so Spike ordered a thing to make it to to make the computer work again, and there's a whole hullabaloo about it, you know, next day delivery, and then it looking like it wasn't going to come for a month, and then it came a little bit later, but not a month later, and then it didn't work, like it. The product was fine, but it wasn't the solution to the problem. Uh, let's see. She was so small, much smaller than her brothers, and an outdoor cat. Uh, not great. If she's smaller than the rest of the litter, that means that uh, she's not getting the same amount of nutrients. Uh, and if you were a breeder, I'm pretty sure you would make sure that that stuff evened out. I'm afraid of the outside and super afraid of dogs. Oh, well, it's not bad to be afraid of the outside. Hopefully she won't uh, escape that way. But to be super afraid of dogs is not, not great. Whether or not you have one. Super healthy. Good. I'm glad. I hope the, the brothers also went to good homes.
du, du. Yeah. I didn't get to see the mom. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, who knows how mom's doing. Sake might have gone out of state to pick up Jigger. You went a ways. I know that. And it was... I don't think it was a breeder situation. I think it was a... Um, these, these kittens need to find homes situation. I think. Two hours one way. Rescue Foster. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Half listening, half doing something. That's okay. That's usually what I do on when I'm watching streams. No worries. Mur also picked up Nyar for you. Wow. Good job, Mur. No, that's that's great. I'm glad Duchess is so well loved and taken care of now. Actually, do the full six threads here for the icing because it will show up better. Oh, Kuya is still snoozing over there. She's all curled up. So cute. rough start but hey it worked out yeah My embroidery can definitely use some work, but this will be fine. Two, two brothers, okay. Black kitty and the silver kitty, ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. 
hungry again I always eat before stream and then I get hungry in the middle of stream anyways I wonder if it's because I'm chilly yeah, it's looking pretty good Black one was named Cheats, but I'm not sure. Huh. All right. Yeah. So they had boy, cheese, and feta. Weird. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, Alright, today I don't have as much of a talk as I usually do, but right now I'm just going to go play some video games. So yeah, have a nice day, Whisper. Have a nice day, Pokey. Have a nice day, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, me. Alright, goodbye. Have a good time playing your video games. Thanks for coming. Music ended again. Oh, Toki. Toki Doki is live. Alright, instead of listening to that again, let's go back to... Uh... Oh no, there's another one. Shoot. Uh, candy shop. This will work. Eat a little bit more. Art for me! Oh my gosh! No worries. I mean, you don't need to be worried about being quiet anyways. Oh wow, vitamins too, huh? That's looking pretty good. She was so small. Me and your grandpa made sure she wasn't thin. Yeah.
missed a thread. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. Ba -da no, she is just like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. All she needed was love. Oh. I don't think I have that anymore. Like we had it on VHS when I was a kid. I don't think I have it on DVD. It was never my favorite, but it's cute. It's sweet. Sexy Christmas saxophone music. Takes me back to Christmas shopping with my dad at the mall when I was a kid. Just like the 90s saxophone holiday music. Oh, she saw snow for the first time and it was cute. Aw, Halloween streams. <laughs> was this what I was playing during the Halloween streams or is this something else? Before I got to uh, Game Chops, probably. Oh dear. A lot of Halloween soundtracks sounded very much like the Christmas music because of the bells chimes. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's very familiar actually. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much trouble with this thread. Ugh. Trumpets like this will never make me, will never not make me think of the 90s. Like early 90s, I guess. so like gray and dark out mm. yes it's nearing the solstice oh okay, now let's do this first before I forget Oh, this is very 60s. Ugh, getting all tangled up. Let's see, I don't know if I told you or not, but my grandpa is so happy about the kitten too. Told me a little bit, yeah. 
And your grandpa lives next door, so he gets to see her a lot. No, oh, I stuck myself again. My grandpa also loved Cat so much. He spoiled the one that he had rotten. And, uh, I don't know. It was lovely to see, I guess. Doing this wrong. Ah, burr. <laughs> the vent is underneath the table that I'm sitting at, and it's blowing out cool air right now. I'm just like, ah, all of my legs, it's so cold. Apparently when I'm at home, the kitty looks for you. Oh. always somebody at home. Oh, good. So the kitty's never never lonesome for very long. It has somebody there, at least. Yeah, that's another reason to have multiple cats if you, uh, if you can't have somebody at home all the time. A lot of cats will need some more companionship. Not everyone. See if we can get two ornaments done today. <laughs> they might just be like one at a part. But we did pretty good on this guy. Pretty cute. Even if the snowflakes are a little difficult to read. Hunts mice as well. Wow. See, a lot of animals are like that. Rice, rats and mice, especially people forget. Tend to forget, I think. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of domesticated animals need companionship. He looks so cute, especially considering he started with a little face at just a couple buttons. Yeah. You guys were a big help. Thank you. Maybe if I get the, uh, the spoons for it will go out into the bleary, bleak, dreary, bleary, dark, and head up my local craft store and get some beads. Let's see. Funny enough, I want to know about the movie that convinced me to get a cat. Yes, I do want to know. Was it Turner and Hooch? A movie about a dog and, and Tom Hanks. <laughs> Aristocats, really? Cat's the only cat. Who knows where it's at? Da, da, da. Oh, is that why you named her Duchess? That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. How nice. If 
If she was a boy, what would you have named her? It's a pretty good movie. Thomas, you would have named Thomas O'Malley. Okay. See, I always really liked Toulouse. The, uh, the name for, was this the orange one? Toulouse. I can't remember the name of the, of the other boy. O'Malley the Alley Cat. Actually, I can't remember the girl cat's name either. The, the kitten. Oh, Marie, of course. Berlioz, that's it. Berlioz is also a good name. Marie. Oh, I like it spelled that way a lot better. Just because I haven't seen it spelled that way, I guess. There's a name that I've always wanted to give a cat, but have chosen against it in case I decided I wanted to have kids. So I could name a kid this without uh, getting it confused. Um, I don't think I'm going to have kids, so I'll probably use it someday. But uh, I always really liked the name Magnus, uh, which I got from... Uh, Matilda, actually. I've heard it come up in another movie. Um, maybe Hitch? Um, where Maggie is short. Uh, of course, my dad's cat right now is named Maggie, so... And you love the name Garfield. I can't... I mean, I don't know. I can't separate it from Garfield, the cartoon. Which isn't necessarily bad, but... I don't know. My love of Garfield has diminished in recent years. Garfield Game Boy is great. Is that a game or is that uh, a longer name? <laughs> Garfield Game Boy the Cat? Oh, it's Horror Garfield. Oh. Da, 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 da. A series, uh huh. Looking pretty good. Oh, my foot's asleep. Wake up, foot. Wake up. enough thread to do the rest of them. Trumpets like this also make me think of The Rescuers, which is, is like a 1970s movie. So I don't know. Oh, what's the cat's name in there? There's an old cat in uh, the rescuers at the orphanage. 
and he likes to have catnip snaps instead of ginger snaps. Sands? No. Oh, would be a good cat name. Okay. <laughs> like, that can't be right. That's it. Rufus is a good name for a cat. Especially an old cat. Rufus. a weird looking cat so I can name it Bartok. Oh, Never a big fan of Lady and the Tramp personally. But uh I watched a bunch anyways. <laughs> Bartok would be very cute for for a funny looking cat. Um, or like a Rex, Devon Rex cat. I like the weird cat meme. What the hell is that? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I cannot. Reenacting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know it. I'm old. I only know old memes. And only some of them at that. Yeah, that's why I put the, uh, and only some of them. <laughs> also, old is, uh, subjective. Especially with memes. Uh, the problem with getting into the holiday spirit with a, uh, 2009? Oh no, 2006 is, is early, closer to the start of YouTube. The problem with getting into the holiday spirit with holiday music is you have to have holiday music that you actually like. And, uh, I don't like a lot of it, so... <laughs> This plan was flawed from the start. Oh, come on. Mm 
Oh. Just started this thing and I got a knot in it already. Why was he nervous? Oh, because of the allergies? Yeah, I suppose if you fell in love and then realized you couldn't keep it, that would be pretty awful. Also, if your allergies are really bad, that, that could be scary all on its own. Yeah. Glad you were able to get her then. I absolutely fell in love with Jack Jack when I saw him. He reached his little paw out of the kennel to grab onto me. Oh, my little eighth grader heart just melted. Cold, dead eighth grader heart. <laughs> Same. Yeah. My dad was so mad. But he got over it when Jack-Jack uh, Jack started cuddling with him. So we hadn't had a cat that did that for a very long time, I think. Scratch the crap out of you. Oh. Well, I guess if she was living outside, yeah. She might not be that... Uh, Comfortable with people yet? Da, 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 da. Had to rush the car. I forgot the carrying case out in the car. Oh. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we got one done. Wahoo! Way back, we found out she was infested with fleas and mites. Yeah. Hope you didn't have to pay too much for her. Like, obviously, probably worth it to get her and to get her out of the situation, but it sucks to support people who are not taking care of the pets, you know? Hi, Kuya. Stretch. Aw, how nice. Little guy. Oh, where'd you go? Mm hmm. You wanna come up here? Meow. Oh, weird. I don't know anything about about that. That seems that seems very odd. I I guess I've never been to a PetSmart one, but uh, yeah. One nice thing about 
I mean, there's a lot of nice things. But one nice thing about the shelter that we that I volunteer at uh, is that they microchip every cat, and they're always on the microchip agreement or whatever. So if a cat gets lost and the current owner isn't responding, uh, the shelter will get called and we'll take the cat back in. Uh, so that's a nice thing, I guess. Oh yeah, you're sneaking all around me, but you're not coming over. How am I supposed to give you attention? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good way to be. Oh, hello, honey. Yeah. I did not fall in love with Kuya when we got her. But I knew she was going to be a really good companion for Jack Jack. And she was. And I love her now very much. Okay, I think I want to do the snowman next. Because I had kind of a cute design, in my opinion, for the snowman. Snow person. Snurson. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Kuya was a gentle grill. Yeah. Well, she used to be a little more feisty. We got her at six months. And, uh... I think Jack-Jack was a good balance for her as well. Because he didn't care whether she, like, jumped all over him and stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Finish your art, Sue. <gasps> Ooh, woo. They snuggled, and that was wow. Yeah, he oughta always wanted to snuggle with the the cats that we had previously, but they didn't want anything to do with him. So I was so happy that uh, they snuggled right away. That's what I wanted for him. And I was like, okay, Kuya, cool, you can be the brattiest brat as long as you're making Jack Jack happy. That's great. Yeah. And she's getting a lot calmer now. She's starting to want to uh, be nearer to Spike and me, which is nice. She tends to come in at midnight now, um, every night, and beg for pets. And she'll lay down in between uh, Spike and me. It's very cute. <laughs> it's okay, Kuya. Sake says it's okay, and Sake is also bratty. A bratty brat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scratches are the best, huh? Hi. Hi, honey. How am I supposed to get back to work? Hmm? Okay, well, let's... First, let's find some... of the right, uh... felt. I'm trying to, like, guide her tail so she doesn't stick it inside the candle. William flips between, we have the worst cats and we have the best cats. <laughs> Apparently it means we have the worst cats, but they are still better than all the other cats in the world. It's very amusing. <laughs> Your cats are great! Duchess is your first cat. Yeah. I've never not had cats. Yeah, 
Marie Curia. So I don't think I could live without him now. It would be so hard. Man, I spilled lingonberry on my shirt. One itty bitty piece of left sequoia. Just a little bit. Yeah, over here. You don't want this? Come on. What do you mean, meow? Come on, Kuya. It's over here. Good job. Good girl. Hello, lame dad, too. <laughs> yeah, she's getting real close with her tail here. Might have to blow the candle out. Uh, yes, welcome. Yeah, we're making felt ornaments. So... <clears throat> I made this one recently off stream and then we made this one entirely on stream today and the other things around are stuff that i did earlier in my lifetime welcome yeah we got my cat kuya interrupting us right now which is okay we love her If you came and sat on my lap, you'd be out of the way and getting lots of attention. No, no, I don't think I will. But yeah, the snowman is our next uh, project to tackle. And I think the music ended again. Let's go to... Let's go back to game, game chops. Do, 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 Back up, library. Uh, game chops. Okay. Oh my goodness. So many emotes, it's hard to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I'm so in love with the snowman sketch. Sailor Moon? What about Sailor Moon? To be honest, I probably can't go but back to life before, before Duchess. Yeah, it's... Life with cats is so much better. Got lots of white scraps that would be good to use up. Let's see if we can get it all on this one. It's Sailor Moon Kitty. Oh. Oh, up there, yes. Yeah, emotes are very small, so it's difficult for me to uh to see them and then remember them once I've seen them. Yeah, that's from Toki's uh Toki's channel, right? Toki Doki? Okay, huh? Oh. Yeah, that's probably fine. <laughs> so hype, much wow. Time to look around the room 
and try to find an appropriately sized circle. Probably good. It's Kuya a money cat. No. I don't know what a money cat is. Like a like a beckoning cat? For shops? Black and orange tabby technically exists. She's a tortoise shell, so she has black and orange, but she doesn't have stripes like a tabby. And she's got a white belly and white toes. Calico? Okay. Tortoise shell and calico can get mixed up depending on like how much white they have on them. Um black, orange, and white. Okay. She's a money cat in the sense of eating all your food and making you spend money to buy more. Yeah. Uh, no, she's a tortoiseshell um, and not a calico. But calicos are my uh, fall in love with immediately cats. Um, we had a tortoiseshell when I was a baby. Not a tortoiseshell. Sorry, a calico. Sammy. Mm. Well, she may not give me monetary fortune, but she gives me happiness. And that's good for me. Yeah. Well, Kuya's got like a checkerboard face. It's so cool. She left the room, so I can't man manhandle her to show you <laughs> right here. I could probably pull up a picture of my iPad, though. So she's she's gorgeous. She's hiding her face in that picture. Da, 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 da. Actually, my blinking cat thing on my start screen, that's um, a very loose picture of Kuya drawing or whatever. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's pictures of Sake's kitties. That's Toby. Not enough pictures of Kuya on my iPad, apparently. It's my dad's kitties. Mm. 
Okay, a little blurry, but it's Kuya's checkerboard face. She's got orange, orange, black, black. So cute. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't believe she didn't get adopted before I got her. Like, I gave her a chance and it's like, well, nobody wanted her after six months. It's only going to get harder from here on out. She's so cute. Black cats are great, yeah. I love all cats. They're so good. Oh, here's little Toby. He's chill. So cute, so little. Oh, now we're getting good pictures of her. That's the first picture I have of him. It's not scratched, just covered in cat hair. <laughs> yeah, that's all cat hair. <laughs> Angry COVID meant missing baby. Oh, he's so small. Yeah. Well, he was at my dad's for a few weeks also. Oof, sorry for the big sniff there. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that the house was safe for him. Once, uh... S since, uh... Mako and Morgan had, uh, leukemia. So yeah, he stayed with my dad for a little bit. And, uh... And I'm really grateful. Because he's great. Oh my goodness, so many messages. I will look after the stream. That's okay. Because I only got a half an hour left and I'd like to make some progress on this snowman. On this snursen. You got to see Morgan when he was a tiny baby. And he was a really tiny baby. I fostered Morgan um, when I already had two cats. And yes, he was a foster fail. <laughs> um, but he was, he was like that big when he came to the shelter I was like I volunteer I volunteer to foster him <laughs> and he was cute and sweet and lovely yeah I know if I didn't take him, Mer was very interested at the time. <laughs> okay, its hat is not nearly as wide as I was expecting. Or as I had originally intended, rather. But that'll be fine. I can't see it with my dark background here. little stubbier on the boots as well. Mm 
No man, how are you doing that with your with your feet? his feet up to the sky <laughs> yeah jumping up birds cold <laughs> sorry I'm cutting things off of screen because my eyesight is that not good it's hard to see these tiny little things Showed the brothers and her family on Discord. <gasps> oh! Oh, so little. So cute. Cats. I looked. Ah. I'm speechless. Sake is so good. I will look more and comment more in a little bit ah yes i like it of course i do how could i not oh sake you're too good to me Conceptually, Sarian's one of my favorite characters. But when it comes to writing for him, I'm just kind of like, ah, uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> Ambrose is the easiest for me to write, I think, at the moment. My brain did a moment of, oh, I know this song. What is it? Oh, right. Of course. I know most of the songs on this playlist. <laughs> Ambrose is also up there. I think I still need to reply for you. It's been years. I'm brain dog. <laughs> I'm brain dog too. Ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No worries. No pressure for you. I feel like Snowman also needs a scarf now. Do I want to bother with stick arms or no? Do 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 do. 
I dropped it. Do, 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 do. Green scarf or blue? I think green, especially since we did a blue scarf here. Maybe I could just make it a muffler. I don't know. That's kind of boring, though. Green and blue. <laughs> eh, if I was going to do two colored, I'd probably just do green and red. But uh, I don't want to make it too complicated. Stripes sound annoying if I'm not doing them with thread. And there's nothing to say that I couldn't do them with thread. Just, uh, I don't know. Eh, so many scraps. Hold on to those sock. Okay, this can get out of the way. Like a candy cane. Does sound cute. Hmm. I guess I've already cut the green one though. Or bow tie. Bow tie would be cute too. I don't know. I like I like the idea of his nose just sticking up above the scarf. So I think I'm gonna do that. Da -da. Kind of dying over the giant freaking scarf. <laughs> In a good way, I hope. I'm hearing sounds and I'm not sure what's going on. Let's see, 3.30. It might be school children. Oh, Saka, you're so supportive. <gasps> oh, I've got a great idea. Have pom poms at the end of the scarf. Cat's afraid of children. Oh, Jack Jack was also afraid of children, actually. Um, anybody who was too loud. That included most children. 
He was afraid of my cousin Panda as well. And uh, Spike's brother. <laughs> and he loved the heat. Oh, he would sit in front of the heater and soak, soak it up. Get out of here. Oh, nice. Winter winter coat coming in. I don't notice much of a difference between my cats, summer and winter coats, with their short hair, so I don't think it's usually that readily apparent. Plus, they shed just all the time anyways. I think maybe I'll just make it a circle and put it on the end if I'm having trouble. I can see it growing in and she like, poof. <laughs> oh, cute. Mind me just wrestling with the cords over here. Hmm, should it be in a different color? Yeah, different colors better. Uh, let's see. I remember when she couldn't get down from her cat tower. Oh, now she's going up on everywhere. So cute. That's very cute. Oh man, when we had Morgan, Morgan and Mako, uh, I would take them outside on uh, harnesses and leashes. And Morgan surprised me one day by running straight up a tree, like, and got right inside the tree, or up, you know, up and in it, and he was happy as could be. And I was pretty worried that he wasn't going to be able to get down, but he was just fine. 
I'm like, oh, okay. That's great. <laughs> as long as she doesn't get hurt. Yeah. Hopefully not getting up where she's not supposed to also. I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, a little bit. Yeah. Cute. I like it. Okay, where to start? Okay, we'll start by finding where I put my needle. Did I put it away? I doubt it. That's not the one I had. Wow, I've made a mess over here. Okay. Oh, I knocked one of the little boats off. Benji. Oh, I like that needle because it had a nice big eye. This is so DDR. Those are a couple of very short stitches. <laughs> uh, present the collar. I tried to cancel, but didn't. So it's coming. You had a, a collar for a present coming, and you tried to cancel it, but it didn't work. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. Huh. Why'd you want to cancel it? Just gonna get the fountain and the collar. Oh, fountains are great. Collars can be Great, depending. Had the flea collar on for a lot of months and didn't like it. Yeah. That makes sense. My cats are generally pretty irritated by it. So I... I don't usually have them in a collar. I did make a little bandanas for them though, so I'll occasionally 
have them wear bandanas. Hopefully it's roomy, yeah. My cats keep getting their bandanas wet, or I watch them groom and get their tongues stuck on it for a brief moment and look confused. <laughs> oh. Oh, you got a pretty collar for... to go with Duchess, huh? That's nice, at least. Yeah, I imagine it might be more uncomfortable for, for long-haired cats to have collars and and bandanas actually, but I don't know. Yeah. Da, da. Yeah, I agree with that. My blanket stitch is getting pretty uniform, but my running, or my back stitch is not. So, this is the blanket stitch. This is my back stitch. Probably difficult to see, but... I started okay, and then I got a bunch of little ones, and now I'm back to the normal size. Oh well. I'm practicing. These aren't for sale or anything. I could make ones if people were interested. Wink wink, nudge nudge. <laughs> da, da. Da, da. Do it and make the monies. <laughs> I would put some up on Etsy, Etsy and say they were made to order and expect two weeks for completion and delivery. Certain people would buy them. I would if I was working. That's a good thought. Probably should. Ah! Stuck. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
So you can do one listing with drop downs that include options for each and take fun images, and then one with them all together listed A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever. Yeah, I suppose that would lower the cost of having multiple listings. Oh. <laughs> Make the monies. Okay. I do have an Etsy shop already, so that part's taken care of. this off before it gets too short. Bought a pony off Etsy. Nice. Yeah, I bought various things off Etsy. I really like to support people who make homemade stuff there. Oh, this isn't much longer. Before the Christmas season for decoration. Green and goes with the red. Oh, nice. Is it the um, um, pepper? Is it that one? You will show. Okay. You got the pepper and you got a Gen 2 baby. Ah. Oh my gosh. That weep noise from the song just really brought me back. sudden the scarf looks like pickles <laughs> pickle scarf Pies on for a holiday one for winter holiday as well. People might like pie ornaments for their Christmas tree. This reminds me of the pickle snowman. Instead of a carrot, it is a pickle. <laughs> Put your pony in the general. Okay. I forgot that your name was Kate as well. Oh, I'm not familiar with this one. Wild hair colors. So cute. Yeah, Gen 2 looks pretty good as well. 
Okay, well, late 90s, early 2000s, that sounds about right. For my vague memory. Right, I'm having trouble <laughs> getting the needle back in here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't stab it into his eye. Uh, and it's four o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the snowman up so you can remember what he's supposed to look like. I'm, I'll sure, I'm sure I'll work on him. Uh, probably tonight even, actually. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Okay, good, and I didn't lose any of the pieces, so that's great. You can actually see. Alright! So cute. USA didn't like Gen 2, so most are 2000s. Oh. Or most are Europe, sorry. I looked up when I was reading it. I had the right thing in my head. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, we got this little gingerbread person done. So cute. Good thoughts with the input from uh, Sake and Pokey. Thank you. And got the snowman started, at least. All the pieces cut out. Just have to not lose them between getting them on. Between now and getting them on. Okay, I think I will do a uh, search and find game tomorrow. Holiday themed one of those. And that'll be at one, like today. Thank you guys so much for coming. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and raise, raid Tokidoki. Hang on to your butts. <laughs>